One day, a young man came to see Buddha. He was very upset. He asked Buddha, "O oh Lord, please tell me that why I suffer a lot. I can't bear the sorrow of my life and my loved ones. Please tell me what to do." Buddha looked at the man with compassion and said, "Do you have a son?" Young man replied, "Yes, I do." Buddha asked, "Does your brother have son?" Young man replied, "Yes, he does." Buddha asked, "Do your neighbor have son?" Young man replied, "Yes, they do." Then Buddha asked, "Do the person not known to you personally have sons?" Young man replied, "Yes, a lot of people have." Buddha said, "Well, then tell me if your son dies, how sad will you be?" Young man replied, "Lord, I would feel incredibly sad. I would not be able to bear that news." I would feel that my entire world has collapsed. I can't even imagine that situation. Buddha again said, "If your brother's son dies, how sad will you feel?" Young man replied, "Sir, I would feel extremely sad, but not to the extent if my own son dies." Buddha said, "If your neighbor's son dies, how sad will you feel?" Young man replied, "Lord, I would feel some sadness." but not to the extent if my brother son dies buddha again said if the son of a person dies who is known to you personally how sad will you feel young man said i would not feel any sadness then buddha asked then the extent of the sadness is relative to your what after thinking for a moment the young man replied lord the level of sadness is relative to me or mine The more I hold something as my own, the more I will be sad. Buddha said, "It means you get sorrow from those whom you consider yours." Man said, "Yes, that is right." Buddha said, "Very well. Now tell me one more thing. When you take your son to the beach, does he play with sand castles?" Young man replied, "Yes, he does." Buddha asked. When the ocean waves break the sand castles does your son cry Young man said yes he does Buddha asked why he cry Young man said sir the child cries because he thinks the castle is pretty and permanent Buddha said it means your son it means your son is attached to it but do you cry too Young man replied no lord i don't then buddha asked Why don't you cry? Young man replied, "Because I know that sand castle is not permanent and it is not mine. So I do not cry when the waves break down." Buddha said, "Now you understand that the root of your sorrow is attachment. If you do not see the truth as it is, you will keep on suffering like this in this endless world. There is no difference between you and those kids who cry." when their sand castle are swept by the waves after listening to these words from gautam buddha the man came to understanding that the real cause of his suffering is attachment we can lead a happy life only by fulfilling our responsibilities while without being attached to If we see in our life we will find that if you attach yourself to something or someone also have to live with the consequences once the things or people you love leave you or something wrong happens to them we suffer because we attach ourselves to external things or people which in reality are not ours and are beyond our control if we want to live a happy life then we will have to practice non attachment only then we shall be able to live a happy and peaceful life therefore always remember that the less attached you are the more peaceful you will be if you find this video is useful please hit like button don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos keep watching informative couple i thank you so much for watching this video this is me akshata signing off